a fun mm-hmm. fact about me, I had not seen a Tom Cruise movie in theaters until 2017's The Mummy. Oof. I mean, that <laughs> one did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Welcome to Crosscut, a movie review slash trivia challenge show. I'm your co-host, Josh. And I'm your other co-host, Chris. So, today we're taking a look at Mission Impossible oh, Dead Reckoning, this. part one. An action adventure thriller about Ethan Hunt and his IMF team who must track down a dangerous weapon before it falls into the wrong hands. Before we get into the movie, we do want to issue a spoiler warning, as this episode will contain potential spoilers. If you have not seen Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, we highly recommend pausing this episode, get yourself that big old popcorn and a nice tasty beverage. For everyone else, let's begin. Yes. Right. So... I kind of changed things up this week. Originally, this wasn't going to be the movie that we were going to do, which right. people might think is a bit of a surprise because you're like, well, this is the big movie of the week. Why wouldn't you do this? For me, it was more like, I don't know. I mean, I was excited for this movie, but I know mm-hmm. you also were just like, eh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Like, I yeah. it would be a good movie for much. to go enjoy and not necessarily have to review. But then I saw this movie on Monday. It was the advanced screening for my area. And I I was watching it and I was just like, damn, Chris, man, you should really watch this movie. You, I think you originally were like, ah, I don't think I'm going to go see it, right? Yeah, I was like, I'm not like, because eh. it's yes. just, it's another Mission Impossible movie. Right. But... So after the movie, I think I texted you that day and I was like, hey, I really think you should go watch this movie. It's it's really right. good. And then I think you kind of were the one to it kind of initiate being yep. like, well, do you want to do it for the for the episode? And I was like, you know what? What the heck? It's such a good movie. It's going to be a, a big movie this yep. week. Yep. There's a lot of good stuff to talk about. So we actually ended up doing this movie. And I'm glad because I'd rather do a movie that's in theaters rather than watching a movie at home. Right. Right. right, 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 right. So, for me, why I kind of got to this point with Mission Impossible, I've never been the biggest Mission Impossible fan. I did see the last one in theaters back in 2018. It was a good movie. It was uh, enjoyable. But I think honestly, I remember this, it. Yeah, Fallout, I think, was that was that one. But honestly, this kind of all started about a year ago, and a little movie coming out called Top Gun Maverick it was about to hit <laughs> theaters. I mean, I saw it like opening day, and I was I, I really enjoyed the movie. It really felt like watching like a, like a, a movie from like, you know, the 90s, just like a pure cinematic experience. And it was so much fun. I know you haven't seen it yet. I still think you should put it on the uh, bucket list to somehow watch it. If they ever did like I mean, a re-release too. in theaters, go see them theaters because it it's definitely a good uh, movie to watch in theaters. Okay. So well, what I about knew... Mission Impossible? Yeah. So getting back to Mission Impossible, I kind of knew about this movie already. I think since then, I think they were promoting this pretty much since last year at least we've known about it yeah. so i was like all right tom cruise you won me over with top gun maverick i'll go see mission impossible when it comes out and here we are the movie came out and i saw it opening day and i saw it in imax and it was actually a pretty uh packed theater so people were enjoying it and getting into it and i was having a good time and it's just like that's why you go to the movies to you know, to, to for people to be laughing and plotting, and it was uh, it was just a, a great a great time. And I was like, I'm gonna go see this again. I do want to see it again. I obviously texted you, and then you saw it tonight. Going in straight 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 into action, and and I was like, okay, I'm already pumped up. I already I already expect more action, and that's exactly what I got. More action more to the story bringing the old characters back like luther and benji mm-hmm. um, uh, i was excited about like getting the band back together kind of thing for one more mission and uh the the story about an ai that became sentient and everything like that i it look i don't know what it is but those stories i always have loved you know mm. Yeah. And this one, I mean, it's more, it's it, more scary nowadays. Honestly. Exactly, <laughs> like he, he, his, invi- his vision was more like, yeah, modern day now. It's AI. Some, po- some points in the movie where he, you see the AI work, work pretty much like when he's erasing Gabriel in real time. 
mm-hmm. you know, or or doing the sub in the very beginning. Right. That was creepy. You know, like, oh, it, it disappeared. Yeah. And it's it's remote controlling your own torpedo. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hacking the and imitating Benji's voice. Mm-hmm. That was weird. Like, can you imagine if you're talking to someone and automatically they just change the way they're saying things? And like, this is not you. Like, this Are is not sure Benji. About that, Chris. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I am. I promise, I'm not AI. At least, I, I don't think I am. How, how can you tell? What's the test to know if you're an AI or not? Yeah, but, but there's a test. There's a you test. Have to pour water on yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay now real. you're 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 real. I'm not like I'm not frying up or electrocuting. So yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a real boy. I'm a <laughs> real boy. The story is actually pretty pretty simple. You know, it is, yeah. it is uh, there's an objective and they need to get yes. this you need to get this key, which you know it, because this is part one, you can tell that it was all about getting this key and then part two is right, 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 right. about finding the submarine and that kind of stuff. But it's all about getting these keys coming together. Very simple, mm-hmm. which is fine. You know, I don't need anything too crazy. I was going to say, like you're saying about the keys, I did like that the keys kept moving around. Mm-hmm. You know, just like the lighter, like you said, it was a MacGuffin. Mm-hmm. So, like, every time they it moved around, I liked how it was like, oh, they almost, they just had it. They just had the key. And now it's like, okay, now the other guy has it. Yeah. Um, so two... So two of my favorite sequences. The first one has to be the car chase in Rome. Yes, that's definitely that was a good one. It's so Even good. The, Especially the humor with the Fiat was funny. <laughs> it was. You just see uh Palm Clementi, she's in like the Hummer chasing them, and she's like trying to start the start the Hummer, and then all she sees is the little car whir- <laughs> whirling around, making the little noises. Is yeah. That was funny. That was good. And I mean the action is just great. They're just smashing into scooter bikes and tom cruise is just like, damn it more scooter bikes and yeah they were running into everything i think the what's the other uh action scene that you liked about it my, my favorite is the uh it has to be the the train but when that when it's falling off the cliff when they have to keep oh, jumping to the next train okay that's my favorite that one was cool that one was cool i, I did like yeah. that i did like that i don't know why but the the scene in the alleyway between yeah, Paris and, and uh, the other guy, mm-hmm. but just because it, it's so simple, it tight, closed it's tight. area. Like you can tell that the cameraman just had to get in there and just and just make it work. There's just so many right. like, tight shots. Yeah, like I I don't know why I've always liked those kind of shots. They were just so cramped, like uh, like the first transport in between the buses and stuff right. like that, or 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 old boy, you know. Those scenes I've always loved. So the and fact an, that they, I guess it yeah, it, and I guess it's an important scene in the movie because that he spares her life. Yep. And you know she's gonna be back because there's that scene at the end where she's sitting there and the guy's like, We got a pulse. You you know she's not dead. So she'll probably yep. be back in the next movie. Her yep. and um there was like another character that I was like, Oh, I think they'll bring him back at some point. Um I'm trying to think who it was. Well, Luther, he kind of disappears towards the end. He's like, I got to go do this thing. Well, I'm not sure what that was all about. Well, uh, well definitely. He's probably just going to pop up in the end of the, another, of the next movie, you know? Yeah, I mean, I would imagine he'd be in the next movie. Um, but he he does kind of disappear at the end. Um, but yeah, you know Paris. She's probably going to come back and be on, on their side. Oh, yeah. oh uh, what did you think of um, K- Kittredge? Oh, Kittredge, uh, yeah. Kittredge being on the train. Did you see that coming? No, I didn't see that coming. I thought that was an interesting little yeah. twist. So, yeah. And I didn't again think of the the director being there too. Uh, yeah, Carrie Carrie Elwes. Carrie Elwes. Yeah. 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 I I didn't expect that either, and that they weren't like working together either. Right. So like, well, because huh. like Carrie Elwes, his whole thing was like I he wanted to form an alliance with Gabriel for some reason. Um, yeah. But then Gabriel was like. You know, oh, you're the only one that knows where that sub is, and he kills him. And I think he was just doing that because he's working for the AI to protect right. them. Right. 
I'm not, I'm not I wasn't 100 percent clear on why Kerry always was trying to work with them unless he was just trying to get the key somehow but I, I think know. he was just trying to get the key and this whole like superior thing of I want to control and rule the world thing right, right. but like battle like eh, all right fine because Gabriel already ha- knew that, that that was gonna happen mm-hmm. you know he was already predicting everything because of the AI so I think he was at that time he was just toying with him and I guess the Gabriel character to talk about him for a minute because I was a little lost the first time watching the movie I was like was he ever established in the in one of the previous movies and I looked it up and he's not in any movie and I know he's his whole thing was he was a a flashback from like before Ethan joined IMF right I I don't know if we ever do we ever see that part of his life I can't remember the first movie so. so okay because he, he, he barely see about Ethan's life in any of the movies. Okay, gotcha. So I was confused too. Like, who is this? <laughs> yeah, I was just I for some reason I was thinking it was like a previously established character from another movie, but then it wasn't. So it's was like, okay, I guess he's just a new character, but he was before Ethan became part of. I am basically. I liked his character though. I like yeah, he's a, he was a good villain. I I'm not even familiar with yeah. the actor, so I thought he did a great job. I did like the nod to the masks, though that mm-hmm. that they kept the, kept doing the mask. Like oh. I did not see that coming in the beginning. With the one guy walks in, I'm like, I was thinking like, who is this guy? Is he like a villain? Is he gonna like kill them all? You know what the the first thing that popped in my head was like, what if it's? I went like far out saying thinking of what if that's the AI. Disguised as a human. I mean, he looks so like not human. Like they look like right. what an AI like, would look like. Just like this guy with like this around. blank face. Yeah, and then it turned out to be Tom Cruise, and I was like, oh, that was clever. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. So I, I um, didn't see that coming either. But th- that's the first thing I thought. I was like, what if the AI is in someone's consciousness or something like that? And I think they did a great job setting that up to make you feel that way. Like, oh, something bad's going to happen. And, and it doesn't. Right. It's just Tom Cruise. So he, it. he actually killed them all first. So like, whoa. Right, right. But no, I just knocked him out. All right. Should we take a look at IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes? Yes. For this IMDb, since it's receiving well, I'm going to go with a 7.9. It's actually at an 8.2 right now. Oh. 8.2. 81 Metascore, that's pretty darn good. Rotten Damn. Tomatoes is really good. 96% tomato meter and a 95% audience score. So All right. it's overall All right. just being very well received. It, it is. And it's, it's actually a pretty fun movie to watch. Yeah, it, it, really is, is. it is a lot of fun. It's got that right. humor in it. Def, definitely got the action. Good story. The acting was good. Yeah. yeah. The other thing that was kind of funny that the 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 cops that keep following. Oh yeah, yeah. He, he's always a step behind, but he's always there. Yeah. <laughs> like he traveled to Rome. He traveled to to, right. to the Alps. You know, like okay. <laughs> but he's there. One step behind. Yep. Yep. Pop quiz, hot shot. Two guys watch a movie. Who remembers the most about it? Well, let's find out. This is how it works. Chris and I are going to go back and forth asking the multiple choice questions that we each came up with. Whoever has the most points at the end wins. For our audience members, feel free to play along. Who knows? You might do better than us. Comment and let us know how you did. Now that we've established the rules, let's play. Since I technically did pick this week's movie, I'm going to ask the first question. Go ahead. Round one. <laughs> What is the nickname given to the AI in the movie? Was it A, the entity, B, the brain, C, the watcher, or D, the eye? The entity. Correct. The entity is correct. All right, all right. My question for you is, what part of the world did the sub sink in the beginning? Was it A, the Red Sea, B, the Black Sea, C, the Bering Sea, D, the Baltic Sea. The Bering Sea. Correct. Round two. (laughs) Where 
do we first see Ethan? Was it A, Amsterdam, B, London, C, Abu Dhabi, or D, Washington, D.C.? Amsterdam. Correct. Amsterdam is correct. Yeah. Had to make you think on that one, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, because he mentioned all the all their places they went. Because he goes to all of them, yeah. Uh, all right. How much was the bounty for for Ilza? Was it A, $50 million, B, $60 million, C, $70 million, or D, $80 million? It was $50 million. Correct. Round number three. We are currently tied three to three. Okay. What message does Benji first read on the nuclear explosive in the airport? Was it A, you are done? Was it B, game over? Was it C, see you later? Or was it D, too late, Ethan? You are done. Correct. You Mondo. are done is correct. That's my name. He knows my name. <laughs> that was good. Oh, Simon Pegg, a national treasure. <laughs> national treasure? Yeah. What do you mean national he's, treasure? He's a national treasure to the world. Because he's oh, such a great actor. I'm literally thinking the movie National Treasure. <laughs> All right. What kind of car is Benji driving at the end? Is it A, a Volkswagen, B, Fiat 500, C, Audi, D, BMW? I'm going to guess. I'm going to say BMW. Correct. The it's correct. That is a BMW. All right. All right. Round four. Currently tied. Six to six. Here we go. Right. Where does Grace hide the key at the party? Was it A, a bodyguard's pocket? B, Gabriel's pocket? C, Zola's pocket? Or D, Briggs's pocket? Zola's pocket. Correct. That is correct. All right. Okay. What kind of device does Ethan use to get off the train? Was it A, parachute, B, speed wing, C, a cruciform, or D, rogolo wing? It was B, speed wing. Correct. Correct. All right. right. Final round. It is 10 to 10. It's going to be tight. What time does Gabriel set the explosives on the bridge for? Was it A, two minutes, B, two and a half minutes, C, three minutes, or D, three and a half minutes? Two and a half. I'm sorry. That's no, the those two? Three, three minutes. Oh. I made sure to pay attention to that on the rewatch. Damn. It was three minutes. Oh. So, final question. If I get it right, I win. If I get it wrong, sudden death. Oh, Give me your my... best shot, Chris. Oh, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. I'm in between two questions. I don't know which one. How about this? How about this? Let's do something fun. So I'm currently winning the season 3-0, right? Right. And I have the chance to win this game. How about this? Double Jeopardy. I got to get them both right. All right. Just to just to make it interesting, I gotta get them both right. Okay, part one. <laughs> Dead reckoning, part one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Question part one: When Gabriel walks into the chief police in Rome, what does Gabriel tell the Venice police that he represents? Is it A. the CIA, B. Interpol, C. FBI? Or D, NSA? Interpol. Correct the mundo. Okay. All right. One of two. Now I got to get the second one right to win. Uh, All right. Part two. What color was the dome where the AI was in the sub? Was it A, yellow? B, red? C, green? D, gray? It was red. Correct the mundo. Damn. 
Uh, well, I try to make it a little a little interesting. Eh, but congratulations. <laughs> congratulations to Josh for being this week's winner of Pop Quiz Hot Shot. It was a close one, though. It was, it was close. close. It was close. If you want to help support the show, you can do so by hitting that like button for this episode. You can also subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date for future episodes. Thank you, everyone, for watching and or listening. Cup print moving on. Dun, 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 d